A medical technique at Craig Joint Theater Hospital at Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan is having a big impact on manpower. Air Force Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato tells us what doctors are doing to return large numbers of troops back to the battlefield. What's your age? Lieutenant Colonel Jamal Malik is a theater consultant for cardiology, a precision that is relatively new to the 455th Craig Joint Theater Hospital and was created to combat a growing trend of heart-related problems. Catch my breath. From 2001 into 2008, we realized the leading cause of disease, non-battle injury, EVAC, was cardiac-related complaints. Uh, we also understood with having had cardiologists in non-cardiology positions in theater that when they were able to have the right tools, they could return to duty and do a formal cardiac workup on many of these patients. Since the start of this program, it's grown substantially well over a hundred percent. We have seen over 475 patients with a return to duty rate of 84 percent. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, I'm Staff Sergeant Yoshi Shinzato. U.S. forces are helping to doctor up Afghanistan's landscape. Army Sergeant Sarah Goss shows us how their latest project is turning the country a lush green. Well, this is quite an event here. Afghanistan marks their new year, or now ruse, on the first day of spring. And in the weeks leading up to the new year, Afghanistan's capital city, Kabul, will be planting over 75,000 trees in the city area. Over 30 years ago, Kabul was a very beautiful city, very green city, and over the last 31 years of war, uh, it's been destroyed. So we're partnering with the Afghan people to help them to uh, re-plant uh, trees throughout their country. Not only are the trees symbolic of the relationship between the United States and Afghanistan. The partnership that is deep and strong, just as the roots of the tree will grow deep and strong to support its growth. But they serve to prevent soil erosion, generate oxygen, and of course, beautify the country. Over 420,000 trees will be planted across Afghanistan during the two-week Nauru season. In Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Army Sergeant Sarah Goss. During their invasion of the 1980s, the Soviets banned the Boy Scouts from Afghanistan, and it's taken 30 years to get the program back up and running. Petty Officer Sally Foster takes us to a meeting of the co-ed scout team, one of three now in the country. Major Daniel Williams was training for deployment with Task Force 134 when he started researching the scout program in Afghanistan. An Eagle Scout himself, Williams is a big believer in what the program can accomplish. No better way to develop the future of Afghanistan than to reach out to the youth, develop the youth, make them good citizens. Taking place in an orphanage in Kabul, these children have taken to the credo of the scouts, including building character and serving others. The good definition of a scout is in three parts. Believe in God, believe in the country, and work for your people and a better society. A good definition of a scout is you learn to act upon your heart and teach all the positive things you have learned to others. For AFN Afghanistan, I'm Petty Officer Sally Foster. That's a look at what's happening downrange. Remember, you can download or watch these stories anytime on demand at pentagonchannel.mil.